Okay, let's let's talk. Let's talk. <laughs> mm, okay, this is Inas Tami from Mariscal Rock, and uh, here we are with the amazing rock band Hello. Airborne. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> How are you? How Good, are you doing? Thank you. Yourself? With everything is fine. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. So, well, this year you were in Spain like many times, and this summer first uh, with Iron Maiden in Barcelona, and yeah. and then with uh, also in the Tsunami Chichon. It's an amateur like yeah. yeah, and festival. So, how was your experience uh, playing in Spain these last times? Oh, coming out of the pandemic and then and then playing, it was um, it was great because we we had shows booked for a long time, and then finally we got here, and it's just the singing. You know, they just sing so loud, and it's like it's uh, it's really it was really great to come out of two years of no gigs. And then the Spanish, you know, yeah. like, yay! The passion. The, the passion, it's huge, <laughs> huge passion. So, um, uh, today you're playing in Madrid, uh -huh. and tomorrow you will be in Barcelona, and on Saturday, I think, in, on Bilbao, uh, in Bilbao. Bilbao, yeah. So, uh, it's your first time in Bilbao? Uh, no, I think we've been there a few times. Oh, yeah. I, I thought that it was your first time. Oh, no, so. we've, we've, we've been coming to Sp uh, Spain everywhere for... For quite a while, but Bill Bilbao, Bilbao, yeah, how you say it. Um, mm -hmm. We've been there a lot of times. Ah, oh, perfect. Yeah. So, uh, what do you think about Spain? Do you have any favorite word or expression uh, in it, Spanish? It canillas. Canillas. <laughs> canillas. <laughs> canillas. <laughs> it's balls. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> Canillas is like a football team here from Madrid. Like oh, okay. Canillas. Oh, yeah, well, then too. Yeah. Um, I'm uh, so close. Yeah. To yeah. Canillas. Um, Canillas, yeah. what? No, I like the wine, Spanish wine. A Spanish wine. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, do you know any Spanish artists or Spanish bands? Um, I don't think I do. No, I don't. Uh, Antonio Banderas. <laughs> well, he sings. <laughs> yeah, he, he sings, sings good. <laughs> Let's see, Antonio Banderas. So, um, uh, we have seen that your shows are like full of energy and rock and roll. Yeah. So, could you give us could you give us any clue about what's gonna happen tonight? Um, maybe another guitar solo in the sky. Yeah, and in the sky. <laughs> 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 um, if there's something to climb, then we climb it. You know, we get out in the crowd and we do those kind of things. We plan. We don't really plan it. Oh. We just do it when we play. Oh. So when we play, we get out there and we rock and you know how the crowd's going and we see what's going on and we just sort of get out and go for it. So, but look, we're just really, we're just really fucking pumped to play finally in Madrid again. It's been so long and it's just Madrid's always loud. Yeah. Yeah. And crazy. This so is gonna be, be crazy and yeah. wild. Yeah. <laughs> So, talking a little bit about the guitar solos in the sky, yep. it, it all started about 13 years ago during the Wacken Festival. Yeah, Wacken, yep. Yeah, and the, uh, later at the Rockham Ring, I think. Yes. So, how did uh, that idea come up? It, that, it just simply appears? Oh, yeah, or? well, we started doing that. I uh, started doing that in Australia for a bit. Hmm? Uh, in Australia, yeah. where we were from. So, then we would, some festivals there, we would do things like that just because no one would know who the band was. And we would do that with festivals over here too. We'd be put on a big festival like Wacken, you know, and there's not a lot of people who have heard of us. Hmm. So by doing a guitar solo in the yeah. sky, as you put it, um, everyone in the festival can see, and they go, what the fuck's this over here? You know, what get the fuck over is there. going on? Yeah, get over there and see that band. And that was kind of the thing. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Thank you. So, it, um, and what the, uh, about the times you opened the viewer cans with like a headband? Yeah, <laughs> my head, it's, it's, it's pretty stupid, but um, it, it works, it's fun. You know, the crowd likes it. Yeah. And look, when you've got your head on a guitar yeah. you're already busy so you can't really you gotta you know the only way to open it you can normally go shh, like this you can sort of like shh, but really it's just you gotta play solo and do the same thing at the same time so very busy over there um, multitasking <laughs> yeah perfect yep. Yep. <laughs> so um also um you recorded uh, you recorded the video clip with uh, for your song running wild with yes. uh, let me kill mr let me yeah so uh, how was this uh, how was the experience with Lemmy? oh it was really great he um he wasn't paid he didn't want to be paid <laughs> he didn't want to be paid for the whole thing he just came he just said a limousine pick him up from the Rainbow Hotel hmm? Bar and Grill wow. in Los Angeles yeah. and uh, where he lives and, um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then uh, two bottles of Jack two packets of salt and vinegar chips and mm. some Coca-Cola and that was it that's all he wanted and he sat there smoking cigarettes 
with the window down in the limo. Yeah. And he said, come in, yeah, boys, come in. And he had, had, we had a few jacks with him and stuff. And, wow. and he told us about like just touring and taught us a lot of stuff and gave us some good advice. Yeah. And, um, and he played some new Motorhead demos that we were working on and they sounded great. And uh, we listened a lot of ZZ Top. Um, actually, we listened to the first album a lot. And, um, and it was really fun. He was just really, really cool guy, a gentleman. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Never imagined that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um, I know you may be tired of this question, but many fans, uh, many fans consider you as the uh, heirs of ACDC's legacy. So how would you like who, how would you like to be remembered as the years go by? Oh, um, just playing Aussie rock and roll, you know, like um, where we come from in Australia, there's ACDC, you know, like it's the biggest, greatest Aussie rock band to, yeah. to get out of Australia and, uh, you know, behind them or with them at the same time was Rose Tattoo, Culture, Chisel, um, The Angels, a bunch mm -hmm. of bands like that, but ACDC really cut that, cut that, cut the way, so it was, um, look, just to be remembered as an Australian band that played rock and roll fucking hard every yeah. single time. That's, that's what we care. And, and if you want to throw ACDC in there, go for it, because I fucking love them. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, well, today you are playing with Blue Pills, uh, with yes. the Blue Pills band. And which is, uh, well, it's a band w uh, that represents the present of rock and roll. So, in your opinion, which bands or artists do you think that will lead this rock generation? Will lead the rock generation? Yeah. Um, well, I... I, look, there's a few bands, I guess, coming up out there in the world that are doing it. Um, it's, it's hard to tell because with the pandemic and everything, everything hmm? sort of just went on yeah. its head. So everything I think, stops. <laughs> I think, yeah, everything stops. I think the bands that, that play live, play good live, I think they'll be the bands that will go on. I yeah. think the ones that rely on backing tracks and things like that probably won't last. It's yeah. just not. Hmm. It's, it, the fans are seeing that stuff now and they're sort of like going, oh, I'm not really getting the... The live thing and, the, and, the, and so when you ask about blues pills they're a great live band yeah. you know they come on and it's just fucking they're so entertaining they're so good at what they do but it's mm -hmm. just you just you can't help but like get into it you know it's, yeah. it's a lot of fun because they really mean it um, you know it's real it's not mm. you know and like and then some of, you play with some of these other bands and you know they've got a whole bunch of laptops back there playing the whole set you know kind of thing and that's doesn't really work you know people especially Spanish, they want to fucking rock, you know, yeah. want to sing and want it to be wild. So without backing tracks, you can be off, off. It's like a wild animal, hmm. you know. And that's that's that to me. That's where I think the, the live bands will, they're the ones that that are, that are like that will go forward, and the ones that you know rely on their laptops won't. <laughs> so, do you have any example of bands? No, I'm not going to drop any names. Okay, that's, perfect. That's like, I'm not going to do that. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> So, um, well, you're part of the soundtrack to Cobra Kai, and yeah. are you fans of the saga? Yes. Yes, I love it. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. Like, I was watching it, and then the song comes on, and I forgot that we had approved the song for the first season or whatever it was, and I was like, <laughs> it was, but it, I love, because I love Karate Kid. Do you, do, do yeah. you watch Karate Kid? Well, the original uh, one? No. I mean, you're probably a bit Not young. in my case, but yeah. maybe that. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. And then they come back and do it again. Yeah. Johnny Lawrence is my favorite. Yeah. Do you have a favorite? Do you watch it? No. <laughs> I'm not a really fan of Karakai. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, and, karate, and Karate Kid, of course. So, uh, what other series or movies would you, li would you like to be part of it? Oh, Did action. Have... Action guns, people shooting people. <laughs> Car chases, you know, <laughs> anything like that. This is good for our stuff. Uh, yeah, anything like that. Okay. Another Rambo, if there's another Rambo, put an airborne song in. <laughs> so, um, well, some people say uh, that um, these are like bad times for rock and roll. Some people say that. <laughs> and yeah, if we compare that. it, it <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and if we compare it to other like musical eras. And what is for you the essence of rock and roll? Oh, well, on the first thing about the people saying bad times for rock and roll, look, it's tough out there. It is tough. But um, <laughs> look, they've been saying that since we started as a band. Because when we, when we started, there was a recession in 2006 or something. And um, so they've always been saying it's bad times, it's hard times, da 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 da. But you get out and play, and it's, we've got more people coming now to show. So I don't know what what the thing is but the, the passion on people's faces doesn't seem like it's hard times that people want rock and roll yeah and um, what was the next question 
<laughs> okay, well, the, the final question, because now we're going to play like two games. Oh, yep. Perfect. Yep. <laughs> um, final question oh, is... Oh, sorry, the essence of rock and roll. Yeah. Yeah, just before we go to your ah, games. okay. Yeah, 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 the essence of rock and roll is just to be yourself. Okay, That's to it. be yourself. Just be yourself. Um, also about freedom. Yeah, yeah, but, and, and if that's you, yeah. if you want freedom, fucking go take it. You yeah. know, <laughs> rock and rock. Uh, well, finally, what many fans uh, want to hear: uh, Are you preparing, or will you soon release new material? Yes, wow. yes, yes. <laughs> next year, next year we'll be recording it and releasing it. Hopefully, next year or yeah, somewhere, somewhere around there. Okay. That's the plan. Perfect. Yep. Now, well, uh, now the, this interview uh, well, is finished, and now uh, I want to.